Hello and welcome to another episode of Eat, Explore, and Enlighten. My name is Maisha and today I'll be taking you on a trip to Jamaica. But before we take off, I'd like to give you a little travel tip. Always remember to take a picture or write down where you parked before you leave. That way when you come back, you'll know exactly where to find your car. And this is takeoff leaving Baltimore Washington International Airport. It was a lovely day that day and I just remember looking out the window and seeing all those beautiful trees. So it's good to see an aerial view. No, I gotta say a prayer to the man before we land. And this, my friends, is Jamaica. Yes, this is the island of Jamaica, Montego Bay. So, um, I just remember looking at the beautiful trees, the sky, the ocean, everything was so picturesque and so stunning. you've gotten through customs and immigration then you have gotten to the transportation portion and just another tip I always recommend getting the transfers um, those are basically round trip tickets to the hotel from the airport um, I bought mine in advance when I booked my flight so I think it was about $35 and since the hotel is about an hour drive from the airport you just want to make sure that you wouldn't take a taxi for something so I would recommend always getting the transfer the first time that way you're guaranteed transportation to the front of the And this is the drive to the hotel from the airport. Uh, it was a little rainy that day, but it was still so lovely. And I just had to get used to them driving on the left side of the street. That kind of freaked me out a little bit. <laughs> so I just inserted some stock pictures of the outside of the um, resort. Um, these are the cottage style um, living quarters at the Royal de Cameron in Runaway Bay. And so um, you had your own little cottage, which was nice. So as soon as I got to the room, I went and changed and went straight to the beach. So I couldn't wait to get in that water. So um, this is just pictures of the beach, the activity board, some things to do um, at the hotel. And this was actually on my way to dinner. So I just kind of stopped and did a little tour of the hotel. So as you can see, this has a lot of seating, so this will be perfect for a large group of people, um, a nice little meetup spot for everyone. So yeah, this is the lobby of the Royal de Cameron. dinner I had red curry fish white rice salad and mixed vegetables and it was yummy another part of the hotel's amenities is that they offer free night entertainment 
Okay, this is the next day, and this is um, one of the local grocery stores. I had never been inside of a Jamaican grocery store before, and one thing I noticed is that they have so many varieties of juices. Oh my gosh, look at this. All different flavors, papaya, mango, pineapple, anything you could ever want in a juice, I guarantee you will find it at this grocery store. <laughs> So this is the local market. Of course, you have your sorrow there. You have your different spices. This is me buying some spices from one of the local vendors. And of course, you can't come to Jamaica without having some Jamaican food. So I had some vegetables, some oxtails, and some wings. Yes. This is just a little view of the people um, outside of the restaurant. So I just went onto the balcony and you know, kind of saw the people coming and going to and from school and work. So it was just interesting to see, you know, a different side of Jamaica outside of the resort. You know I couldn't come to Jamaica without going to Scotchies. Yes, if you haven't heard of Scotchies, delicious. So make sure you put that on your to-do list. This is the countryside, so I'm just riding around, enjoying the breeze, enjoying the view, enjoying the day, enjoying the night. Yes, it is good. I'm 
Yes, now that i have enjoyed a full day of sightseeing where else am i headed but to the beach yes put on my sun hat put on my bathing suit and i'm headed to the water <laughs> Okay, so I decided to be a little adventurous and take a nighttime excursion to the Blue Lagoon. Now what this is, is a part of the ocean that has these special microorganisms that when they're agitated, they glow this blue iridescent color that you see in the picture right here. So when you, um, you get in the water, the more you splash around, the bluer the water turns. So at the time, I did not have my bathing suit. I didn't know I was going to get in the water, but I was just like, okay, YOLO, jumped off the boat, had a great time. Everybody's in there laughing, splashing around and making this beautiful blue color in the water. It was amazing. So if you ever have an opportunity to go to the Blue Lagoon, I definitely, definitely recommend it. It was the experience of a lifetime. So, let me see her. Now put her too far, you know, Shane? Because I have got chat to her and everybody else for the boat. Yeah, yeah. Where's she there? The chance, oh, in the right beside her, you So, yeah, yeah go on, make me put in the work. I'm right beside her, you Watch them bright lights up there, because they're going to work out here. Yeah. Run them off. Yeah. <laughs> this is the most fun I've heard them talk yeah. like. Oh, yeah. 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 Wow, that blue lagoon was amazing. And sadly, this was my last meal in Jamaica before I departed to return back home. But I had a wonderful time. And I just want to say thank you all for watching to the end. I really appreciate your support. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. But until next week, always remember to have fun. I will talk to you later. Bye.